uh, uh, just a side bar question since we're talking about the transfer portal. Who would who under the Sam Pittman era at least, or at least when the transfer portal has been a thing? Who was the biggest shock of a transfer to go out for, leave Arkansas? Like who was Mike the biggest? Woods. Michael, Mike, yeah, Michael Woods. That, that, that was, was yeah, crazy. Sure. In the moment. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's an easy answer. Then that was yeah. nuts, man. Yeah, yeah. was it? Which too, now, was, if that happened, like it wouldn't really like we really wouldn't bat an eye. But right. in that time, it was like it was it was big time. That yeah. was like back when we were so naive. We were like, wow, did. Did Oklahoma contact him before yeah. he entered the portal? This is tampering. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, clutching our pearls over it. Now it's like, oh, hey, got a bag. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, like, it, because that was, I think it was two days after the spring game where he caught like three touchdown yeah. passes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. was a tough one, man. Yeah. Because he did the YouTube channels at Woodsville or Woodville or something. Yeah, that, I used to love Michael Woods. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was that was crazy. Yeah, so that one was a that was a big one too. I guess another one that I mean, I don't know if it was shocking or not, but still like, like Chris Poo Paul leaving, I thought was a little surprising. Um for that. Yeah. Because Arkansas's had a knack, unfortunately. They have a knack for their team captains transferring out. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> like yeah, that uh, one wasn't surprising when it happened. No. But I think that's another like notable one. Yeah. Um, right. Uh the, I will say Fouché and Brooks. I was one's gonna bring it up. Oh like, yeah, by the, yeah, it was it was pretty stunning. Where it was just like, oh wait a minute, because we were. I remember, uh, I had a story written that was like a prepared for if Joe Fouché decided to declare for the draft, mm -hmm. and then it was like, no, he's not declaring for the draft. Oh, he's going to LSU. Like what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was crazy. And I mean, in terms of like notables, there were a lot of them this past season. I mean. KJ Jefferson and, and Rocket Sanders under normal circumstances, that would be like, holy crap, that's crazy. Uh, but given the circumstances of the, the team and the season and what the heck is going on with Pittman, um, I can't really take a lot of stock into any of those moves that were made this past year. But under any other circumstances, we would have been looking at that going, holy cow. Yeah. Well, and that's like crazy? even uh, I was going to say, isn't it crazy that Arkansas is replacing the school's all time leader in passing yards and touchdowns? And not only are we not really worried about it, it's not even a thing we've talked about like at all. Like we don't talk sure. about like, oh, what are, you know, like how are they going to do that? And because like to your point, like it wasn't the most stunning move of all time, right? No, in fact, it's one of those moves that was probably like I'm, I'm going to make this comparison. I'm sure people are going to yell at me. It's kind of like the Devo Davis thing, where it's like, listen, you did a lot of great things, but it's probably best for everybody if it just moves yeah. on from each other. You know, like it, where it's not. You know, I, there may be some people that have negative feelings towards KJ Jefferson or negative feelings towards Devo or whatever. But when you have some changes, you, you, it's like you had some real success, you had some good years, but it just feels like it's run its course and it's yeah. it's time to time to separate. So, because 